Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Crescendo. Uh, we have a Patreon version here provided by Googs. Uh, don't worry, I have permission to use the Patreon version. Ooh. If only it was here. Oh, this got over light. I almost forgot. So today we're going to be playing Crescendo. Whatever. Uh, intros are good on this channel. Void. Hmm. A lot of nothing. <laughs> that is nothing. Only darkness around. Not a single ray of light shining through. Where am I? Am I falling? Or am I going up? A flock of red oh. spheres appears all around. One, two, three, three four. four, five, four. You have to keep clicking for more words. That's uh. Goog's fix. Oh crap. 21 of them slowly approaching their prey. Ah! What are those? Ah! What are those? Are, are those eyes? Stay away! You try to run without any success. No matter how much you struggle, you don't seem to move an inch. Why am I not moving? F f f f those things are getting closer. As you start to panic, those orbs have finally reached you. Their crimson light blinding your sight. Suddenly, a scorching heat irradiates your whole body, making you scream in pain. Ah! Make it stop! Hearing your plead, the orbs vanish in the air. In their place, a blue orb emanating, a gentle light descends from above. It psychomes your senses. You don't know why, but this light looks familiar. Looking at it with more attention, you notice that the sphere conceals something inside. Some sort of piece of paper. A card is stuck inside. The card itself looks old, yet unusual. A number is written on the front of it. The number glows brighter and brighter. The more you look at it, as if it were calling out to you. Zero. As you say its name, the number blinds you in crazy azure light. Your body becomes heavy in rumbles. Ominous bells start ringing in the distance, almost deafening you. Ugh, my head. You wake up in your old room, your phone's alarm going off right in front of your eyes. Ah, uh, fine, fine. I get it, I get it. Uh, I'm seriously not used to this anymore. Well, no point staying in bed. Might as well get ready. You better gradually force yourself out of bed, changing into a new uniform. Jeez, I haven't worn something so uncomfortable in forever. But I guess rules are rules, huh? Now where did I throw that damn thing? You scan the room, trying to remember where you left your violin case last night. <sighs> they didn't even bother cleaning this place up. Not that I'm surprised. And those two got rid of my ass. Why would they look after my room? Ah, there it is. You find your violin case sitting on the small desk, along with your backpack containing all your belongings. Well, that should be everything. Can't say I'll miss this place, though. Hmm, I should probably put the bed back in place. Despite how dumb those two look, I doubt they would think a ghost slept in this old bed during their trip. After quickly making the bed and checking if you left anything behind, you get out of your room through the window, closing it on the way out. Oh, okay! Yoink! <laughs> it's a buzz. <laughs> After walking for 20 minutes, you are able to catch a bus to reach the college. There aren't a lot of people on board, probably due to the early hour. However, you notice that most of them were wearing your same uniform. The same uniform as Which you. Way, you but are uniform they wearing college? face masks? Are they, Googs? They have to. <laughs> Their gazes are fixed on you. Whisper okay, so Googs told me to keep the sound effects on Max. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. That was loud, Googs. Thank you. <laughs> Their gazes are fixed on you. Whispers going around. Guess elite kids can sniff out a broke ass like me from miles away. <sighs> I'll just sit here in the back and try to think about something else. As you move through the autobus, autobus, as supposed to the manual bus, uh, the, previous the previous whispers growing quieter and quieter until completely ceasing. Are these guys seriously so bored they don't have anything else to talk about other than me? You find an empty bench in the back of the autobus and claim it as if you're private property by dropping your backpack and the case all over it. I was thinking of it like they just drop their pants right there and just pull <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Not like any of those students would sit near me. Once comfortable, you start dozing off, thinking about how much you would like to show off to those students. Yeah, would be quite nice, but I guess I can't play all my cards from the start, can I? <laughs> I'll show them. Pardon me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you suddenly come back to your senses as a young rabbit stands beside you. You, you were asleep. I, I apologize. I didn't mean to. Ah, don't worry. I'm the idiot dozing off on a bus out of nowhere. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Ah, 
Yes, I was wondering if the place that's yours was taken. Just say, we'll I was be hoping to rest my legs for a bit. Hmm, this rabbit. She seems polite enough on the surface, but I'm sure she's just waiting for the perfect occasion to stab me in the back. Well, not like I have proof of this conspiracy. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love that you read this. <laughs> you glance back at the bus. Now it's much more crowded than before. Oh, fuck. However, one detail strikes you hard in the head, like a bonk emoji on Discord every year. Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> All the other students are avoiding eye contact with the small rabbit. Eh, another outcast, I guess. Might as well try talking to her. Sure, feel free to sit down. Just give me a second to put away all my stuff. Thank you so much! You are a really kind person, you know. Eh, don't- oh, was that sitting down? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Aggressive <laughs> sitting. Don't sweat it. People like us have to unite against the Philistines. Ha <laughs> ha Huh? Oh, oh, don't worry. My brain often uh, wanders in weird places. I'm sorry. Um... Oh, I I haven't introduced myself yet. My apologies. I'm Riley, and you are. Hey, William, no! William, William, I'm William, William, William. <laughs> <laughs> I'm William, 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 William. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's your fault. William, this William, is a mistake. It's your fault. The pleasure is mine. So, what year are you attending? Uh, I'm sorry. I was so excited this morning. I forgot to have breakfast. Uh, that and the fact I didn't have any cash to buy it to begin with. God, this is so awkward. <laughs> Socially awkward. <gasps> the rabbit pushes a small packet of biscuits in your lap. I want cookies. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> please don't bother with me. I'll be just fine. Don't be so reserved, please. It's something. I had the bad habit of munching on sweets, so this way you'll help me out. Oh, okay. If Makes you sense. say so. I see. Well, in that case, don't mind if I do. You rapidly open the packet and start eating one biscuit after another until there are none left. Oh, man. I haven't eaten so much sugar in forever. I could probably die happy right now. Aha! Hmm. Guess not all the students here are assholes. Though, I wonder. Why was everyone avoiding her? Hmm. Maybe she isn't from a rich family and just won a scholarship like I did. You look more closely at your prey. The rabbit's fur looks incredibly fluffy and well kept. Nah, there's no way a normal person would have such a cute, f such a cute fur. <laughs> she probably uses dozens of fur products to keep it that shiny and fluffy. And what's the deal with her? Um, is there something on my face? Oh, no, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. Why can't I act like? A normal person. <sighs> anyway, thank you for the snack. I feel much better now. It's my first day, and I was worried some senior student would eat me up straight away. <sighs> I didn't know this was a four visual novel. I'm you are a new student too. What a coincidence! It's Aww. almost as if this is a what visual novel. Wow. Two new students. Oh, a transfer students even probably. <laughs> I wanted there in the class too. I just moved to the city and I haven't had the occasion to speak to a lot of people. I feel like people are uncomfortable talking with me, so I was scared I was being rude to them in some way. But I'm happy to see there was someone so courageous to listen to my rambling. Thank you! <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did good, you did good. I like it. One more minute alone having to look at all these mumbling vultures and I would have certainly sliced some necks. Why am I That's such a weird person? Illegal. The rabbit chuckles a bit. Well, at least I brightened her mood. That's something. Anyhow, it looks like we're almost there. We should get ready to get off. Oh, I didn't notice the time flew. I didn't mean to waste so much of your time. Don't worry about that. No time spent talking with a friend is wasted time. Uh... Uh, fr friend? The rabbit looks quite speechless. Let's catch her later. Have a great day. Oh, uh, sh sure. Y you too. Have a splendid day. You get off the bus while the rabbit is having trouble fighting through the crowd. You look at the building in front of you. Um, 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 we this wow. in institute, <laughs> a private college specializing in weed studies. St <laughs> the building itself looks old, yet everything surrounding it, from the gardens to the gates, looks extremely polished. Well, 
I wouldn't expect anything less from such a place. I wonder if their toilet seats are made out of gold. <laughs> Looking around, do you notice some other students trying to keep their distance? Nice! Guess I won't win any awards for the most popular students. Let's see if there's another entrance. After going around the building, you find what looks like a service entrance. Bingo. Let's get in quick before someone busts me. You hastily approach the door, but when you try getting it open, it won't budge. Of course, that'd be locked. Maybe if I run back to the main entrance, I can still make it in time for orientation. Hmm? You notice in the corner of your eye a big black bowl standing by the wall. I could ask for some help. But what if he's another one of those snotty students from this morning? Ask, ask for help. Yes. Yes, let's ask for help. Here goes nothing. You walk towards the bull, oh. heart pounding. I pray he isn't in a foul mood. Mm. The bull directs his attention to your easily... To your... What? I... What? Definition. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Vinegar? <laughs> Vinegar? <laughs> Wait, what? Um, <laughs> I'm curious if this is actually a French word. Oh, wait, I can't send screenshots. Oh, I'm sorry. He's not French. He's Italian. Italian. That's what I meant. I'm it's so an Italian sorry. word. Okay. The bull directs his attention to your. Wait, how do you read it again? Let me see. Easily. Easy. To your easily figure. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. I was just wondering if you knew about the entrance other than the main one. Why would I ever need another entrance? Well. I don't really like crowded spaces, and I'm also not sure who else to ask. So it might be useful to know for later on. Pal. Eh? Just to make sure, you aren't asking this because other students are giving you dirty looks, right? Yeah. The bull statement catches you off guard. How the f*** does he know? Did he read my mind? Hey, you, bull, get out of my brain. <laughs> Guess I got it right! <laughs> hey, that's nothing to laugh about. Fine, fine. Fair enough. I heard the rumors about this street bandit new student, but I never thought he would be such a wimp. <laughs> Wait, rumors? Some idiots spread the rumor around campus that somehow a homeless boy won a scholarship through unorthodox methods. That would explain quite a lot. <laughs> Don't worry, kiddo. If anyone gives you trouble, come to me and I'll smack their faces. Well, people have to stick together against the elite dumbasses. Thanks, I guess. I'll probably take you up on that offer soon enough. Um... Name's Oliver. Call my name and there's a good chance people will leave you alone. I'm William, 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 <laughs> William, William. <laughs> so, uh, can you help me with the action? You missed a William, by the way. William. Sure thing. The bull walks towards the door you tried to open earlier. He pulls it instead of pushing it or what? Right, I already tried that one. I think it's locked. Uh... He is Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver punches the door with all his strength, making it fling open. Wow. Yeah, wow indeed. What the f***? And that's nothing. Not the denial. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Very much. I uh, better hurry. It's nothing, pal. By the way, if you meet a lion, be kind to him. He can be annoying as hell, but he's a good guy. Just really unlucky. There's only one lion in There's this There's only school? one lion in this entire school, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for the advice. And with that, you rush through the newly opened path inside the building. After walking for several minutes and almost getting lost, you finally arrive at the auditorium. The room is colossal and bright. You have trouble seeing at the end of the auditorium. Damn, talk about doing things big. The acoustics here must be amazing. While looking at the auditorium, you notice the number of present students is quite low. Hmm, you think there would be more new students here, and yet... I wonder if the school got a bad rap or something. Hmm? In this small crowd of students, you notice Riley sitting down alone. I should probably go sit down next to her. Hope she doesn't mind. You awkwardly move through the auditorium seats while still carrying all your belongings. It would be really nice to drop this off, but I guess we'll still gotta wait until the end of the day to get assigned a room. Hi, O'Reilly. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Good morning, William, 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 William. I was wondering if you got lost when I didn't see you here. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm, I'm curious. 
Self voicing enabled. Good morning, William, 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 Willam, Willam. <laughs> See you here. Oh, you misspelled it! Willam! No. Willam! <laughs> Twice! Yeah, no, it's, well, okay. it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. okay. It's William, 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 Willam, Willam. Oh, no, well, guy. Let's say I had a peculiar <laughs> Take it encounter off, on please. the way here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's say I had a peculiar encounter on my way here. Really? Man, you make friends real quickly, don't you? I'm quite jealous! <laughs> I think that's more of a curse than a blessing. I tried going around the building only to find this big black bull all by himself. So, oh. did you try anything funny with you? Uh, wow, I wish. Wow, take a wow. Uh, Riley, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know why, but I think he took a liking to me. Maybe. He just laughed at me, and then opened the lock with a single punch. That's like someone you shouldn't mess with. <laughs> then she disappeared into the surroundings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Though I would really like to exchange a few words with whoever spread those rumors. I wonder if something was said about Riley too. A lot of students seem to avoid her, but I can't put my finger on the reason. The auditorium suddenly goes quiet as someone who you assume is the director takes the stand. And f***ing runs! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like they're finally starting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was incredibly useless. Can't blame the guy. He looks quite constipated. <laughs> he did. Anyway, we should probably hurry out of here. From what's written on our schedule, we're supposed to be meeting with our tour guides in the hallway. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. After aimlessly walking around for some time, you finally reach the meeting point. However, there doesn't seem to be anyone around. Are you sure this is the spot? Yeah, this should be it. But I don't understand why there isn't anyone else here. Hmm. Maybe we could try going back to the auditorium. <laughs> uh, two students so young, yet so blind. It is only natural for me to show them the ways of this world. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what is happening? Oh no! Oh, it's Kevin McCloud! So he just came from the skies! God. You and Riley are taking her back as the lion suddenly comes down from the ceiling! Oh, do not fret, my liege, for your escort has arrived. Here, right. appearing on this stage, is your one of a kind, friendly lion, Goo. Yeah. <laughs> now, follow me as we uncover the mysteries that dwell within your heart. <laughs> hey, uh, Riley? I have pepper spray in the back. <laughs> By any chance, do you have Compass Security's number? Uh, I don't think I do. Oh my god, get up away from me! F***. Wanna try running? He, he would probably catch up to us in no time. Well... He said he wanted to guide us, right? Maybe he's one of those seniors on orientation duty. Damn it! <sighs> hey, you realize I can hear you too, right? Yeah, and you realize I can spray your face, right? Googs is staring at you too, pouting. <sighs> I worked really hard to make a better impression on my juniors, you know? And this is the reaction I get? Were we supposed to clap or something? What's up with this guy? I'm going back. I think I'll follow you. No! Please come back! <laughs> Did I scare you? Hmm. Did you not like my entrance? Do you hate me? I can give you plenty of stuff. So please, don't be mad. Gook starts throwing <laughs> several can- <laughs> Candies and pills out candies. of his pocket. <laughs> what is what? happening? <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> He's so desperate. Does he even have any friends? At any rate, I don't think we'll get out of this one easily. <sighs> Please, anyone, just save us. There you are. Coming down the hallway, you see a familiar figure hurrying towards your group. Uh, uh, Oliver? Uh, how did you find me? Did you put a tracker on me? <laughs> Oh my god, Derek, I love this. I love this. You are so loud. Anyone could find you anywhere. Hmm? <laughs> Sup, William, 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 William? It seems like Googs already abducted you two, didn't he? I hate how correct that sentence is. 
<laughs> to be fair, I warned you about him. Good. Did you go and annoy some new students again? We're already talking about the little show you put on this morning. Then let him talk. The more people that know about me, the more will want to meet me. <laughs> Such an astute plan. I outdid myself once again. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. It was not even that funny. Also, I wasn't abducting anyone at all. I was only surprising them. Wait! What do you mean you warned him about me? What did you start saying about me? Is this why everyone is avoiding me today? Everyone avoids you regardless of the day, Gux. <laughs> Ouch. You don't have to remind me, you big meanie. When did you start treating me like an old rug? Is this a plot? Treason! God, it's so dramatic, I love it. I... I... He... <laughs> My best friend, at last, betraying his only confidant. Oh, how sad. How awful. I cannot withstand such tragedy. Lawrence started fake crying. <laughs> You'll really make me crack one day. But you already shattered your mask, did you not? What are you talking about now? While I wasn't paying attention, you got envious of my charming skills and decided to make a friend of your own. You finally threw away that old lonely mask of pressing your true self and found a new confidant to substitute me with. Ugh. Life truly is full of wonders. <laughs> are you done? By the way, what are you two doing here? We're starting an hour. Uh, I think we got the hour wrong. It's my fault. Sorry, William, 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 William. Thank you for telling us. Oliver? What's it? Yeah, I'm Oliver. And as I can see, you already met Lawrence, our local idiot. Yep, yep. I'm Lawrence. Clown at your service. For as long as I am breathing, I shall make the whole world laugh. <laughs> Audible sigh. In any case, since we're all here, want us to give you a tour? I'm fine with it. I would just get bored waiting around. If it's not a problem, I'll take you up on that offer. Wait let's for start me. from the right wing. As Riley starts following Oliver, Lawrence approaches you. Hey, I'm sorry for the whole ceiling thing, but <laughs> thank you. Uh, why are you thanking me? That guy. He never tried befriending anyone. You should have seen his face this morning. He was smiling left and right, talking about having met someone decent. <laughs> For breaking his heart shell, you have my eternal gratitude. If you ever are in trouble or are in a bad mood, come to me and I shall make the world bend to your will. <laughs> Uh, he really cares about Oliver. He was even serious for a moment. Oh, but don't think I will give up on befriending you just because you are now under Oliver's protection when you least expect it. I shall surprise y'all and sway your heart to my side. Ha ha ha! And he ruined the moment. After going through all campus's buildings, you finally arrived at the dormitories. Here are the dormitories. Sorry for coming here last. You must be tired carrying all that stuff around. Uh, don't worry. Some lifting never killed anyone. <laughs> Good to see you can still smile after such torturous journey. That means I did a good job at keeping your morale up. Once again, I exceeded my own expectations. <laughs> How does he have so much energy after jumping around and laughing for the whole tour? Is he even from this planet? If you hadn't deviated every five minutes, we would have finished our tour half an hour ago. But where would be the fun in that? No joy can spark from a path devoid of any surprise. And as such, it is my duty to pleasure, er, 
<laughs> and as such, Mood. it is my duty and pleasure to kindle the flame of curiosity in those around me. P -p -p I should really give up on you. Anyway, on each door is written the names of the students assigned to that room. Find your own so you can leave your luggage and go get something to eat. I don't know about you, but all this walking made me hungry. Can't blame the poor guy. He had to reprimand Lawrence during the whole tour. Well, let's see. Where's my room? I bet I can find mine before you do. <laughs> what? If you feel so certain, then sure. Wait, isn't this the boys' dormitory? Is Riley intending on running out to the girls' dormitory and be still beat me? This cheeky rabbit's got some guts, huh? You browse through the various doors until you finally find yours. Ah, there it is. Let's see who's my room. Dots. This has to be a joke. On the plates affixed to the door, two names are written. William, 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 and Riley. Wait, how could that fit on the plate? Well, it's just very just small text. text. <laughs> <laughs> how the f*** did this happen? What will I do? Am I supposed to actually sleep with a girl? What if she thinks I'm a pervert? Oh, you found it! Damn it, I was so sure I was gonna beat you! Are you okay? Oh, wait, we're actually roommates! That's amazing! I hope we get along. Does she really not have any problem with all of this? <laughs> we're gonna ask Riley if that's I'm gonna have problems. fun with this dialogue. Hey, Riley, are you sure you're okay with this? Hmm? What do you mean? Are you okay with me having having me as a roommate? Are you telling me you snore at night or something? No, that's not what I... God damn it, why is this so hard? I'm just saying people aren't usually comfortable sleeping with a person of the other gender. And? I'm not sure I'm following you here. What I'm trying to communicate is... Are you sure you want to sleep with a guy despite being a girl? <laughs> not a Give girl. it a minute. <laughs> Dorito, Dorito. Oh Riley approaches you and throws a quick jab at your guts. <laughs> uh, what was that for? William, 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 William! I am a boy! <laughs> what? Did you really think I was a girl this whole time? Hey! Oh, come on! I got into school because I was tired of exactly this kind of shit! And if you do this? I, I'm sorry. <sighs> Okay, I, I shouldn't have punched you. Sorry, I'm just... I'm fine. I definitely deserved it anyway. Sorry. Well, now that everything's clear, want to drop off our stuff and go eat? I'm starving. We should eat a Dorito every time they apologize. No! <laughs> okay, future Shen, at the end of this uh... video, put a count of how many times they've said sorry. Yes! Oh, you really need to do perfect. that. That's Ooh. a lot of You, you need to start. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, see you guys later. Bye! Yeah. Bye! Bye. This looks like comics, and I am sorry. Uh...